Okay, we just arrived at Delhi. We have a connection to Thailand. All right, we're getting on one of these buses here. Terminal 2. Now we gotta go to the International Terminal. And the fun begins. Alright. We're outside coming into Terminal 3 here. Okay, now we go to baggage. Pretty sure they said that it's just gonna automatically get transferred, but I just wanna double check. Don't want any surprises. This is my second time back to Delhi. If you wanna see the international arrival video, you can see that, but this is going to be a domestic transfer to an international departure. Goa. That's where we arrived from. All right, so we waited for the uh, baggage didn't come so we're just gonna go ahead and head over to the transfer hopefully it ends up in uh, Thailand the guy said it would I just wanted to cross-check it let's see transfers I think we're gonna do a bus we got a metro here walked outside here. Wish you could just walk to the terminal. I guess I'm gonna take this interbus, interterminal bus. So we'll wait. It comes every 20 minutes. It used to be every 10. I'm gonna get a complimentary bus pass. Well you could wait for the shuttle bus. Or you can just walk it. It takes about 10 minutes to get there from outside. So we're going to try and walk it. I don't know about this. All right. So we're just walking it. This will be interesting. Hopefully they got an elevator. It's currently 1.30 in the morning. JFK does something funky like this. Where you gotta like, but at least they have a tram. This is kind of funky. Like I said, you could wait for the frequency every 20 minutes where it's a lot of people, there was a long line. Ah, oh, okay. Seems easy enough here, let's see. I'll pick up when I get closer. All right, so we're going to the second floor here. That's where you would get dropped off with the uh, shuttle anyway. There's the shuttle. I think we beat the shuttle over here anyway. So. A little effort to put the Charlie Hustle in and it paid off. 
Because that's not the shovel that would drop them off. Okay, we are in the international departure area, Emirates. Yeah, international departure right here. And we'll go through the gates. The security check and passport patrol, I'll let you know how that goes once I get there. Okay, we just made it through security and the passport control. The passport control line was not very long and there was many agents. Security was intense as per usual here in India. When I say intense, it's quite intense. And the people boarding the planes aren't helping anything because they are always kind of carrying with them something in their pockets which slows down everything. So, it is what it is. We're in the, in the airport. It's uh, 2 in the morning. Well, 1.30 in the morning, actually. And super busy. I thought if I showed up here in the middle of the night, I'd be less busy, but boy was I wrong. That's a nice store, huh? The money exchange. And lounges. Food court hotel. Kind of looking for the hotel. Just want to see how much it's going to cost. So my flight leaves at 5.40. So instead of sitting in the airport, kind of <laughs> wired. Figured I'd get a pod. I think you rent it by the hour. That's what I want. We could go to a lounge, but I think I'd rather pay by the hour for a pod. Just kind of lounge in there. Indigo. Is that Bangkok? Uh, it's all in. I do. Nice airport. Spa. I doubt the spa's open. You probably put me to sleep. This is a weird, you know, leave it. We left Goa at 10, arrived here at 12.35, had to cross the street to get here, go through security again, and then the flight leaves at 5.45, so it's like, I don't know if I'm going to get any sleep. The flight isn't... It's its long, but it's not long enough to sleep, you know? Maybe two hours. I should be tired enough by then, but by the time we get to Thailand, I'll be probably real drained. The thing I really enjoy is how people walk right in front of you. It's always fun. Makes me wonder how often I do that. Holiday Inn Express. All right. Hotel. Nice airport. Super nice. I would say Delhi is probably the best of all the airports I've seen. Okay, you got to go up. level five. Maybe I'll stop by the lounge first. Okay. Let's go to the four. Those elevators didn't work. Let's 
see if they take fiery pass. Alright, well, you can see we got plenty of restaurants. Super modern airport, man. But uh, I'm over at 12A, so I'm gonna go and I just check out what's going on over there. Probably need a water at this point in the game. Let's see if I can get a water. What I'll never understand is how people will literally go out of their way to like walk right in front of you. Obviously it's not happening now, but <laughs> maybe it's just because it's 2.30 in the morning and I've been flying back and forth going through lines, but I just feel like people just literally go out of their way to cut you off. Here we go. So just a word to the wise, try to get set up with Google Pay before you get here or some sort of pay app because credit cards aren't accepted everywhere and ATMs are hard to find. I guess everyone's using Google Pay these days. So, there you have it. Let's see, we're going to 12. pizza in a while. One thing I haven't had in India the whole time I was here was uh, some beef. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's true. They don't have beef. I did see it once. In Goa. I'll keep trying to show you around, but uh, this is going to be my gate. So if I see anything cool in between now and when I take off, I'll turn on the camera. All right, it's boarding time. 5:30 in the morning. <laughs> 